Project 35 has made an incredible start uh, and we're off to a really, really good positive launch. Um, through the summer, um, we've had some of our holiday hunger projects running in Plymouth and Devon and across Cornwall too. We've seen somewhere between kind of 11 to 12,000 young people. They've engaged in a, a day of um, fun and sport. They've also done some enrichment activities and probably most important to Project 35, they've uh, had hot and cold meals made available to them. Uh, what's been really rewarding uh, from Project 35 and linked to our holiday hunger projects is that uh, our Project 35 partner, Ginsters, have donated just over 13,000 items of stock, in which case we've managed to make sure um, every young person that comes on our courses has left with a hamper, not just for them, but for their family, to make sure that we're playing a role in overcoming um, weekend hunger as well. So outside of our kind of um, summer holiday and holiday hunger and weekend poverty work, and we've also been doing some targeted food support and isolation work across the communities of Stonehouse and Whitley. Uh, we're currently supporting about 35 to 40 families a week. Um, to date, we've, we've supported and passed out, you know, just over 200 weekly food hampers to try and ensure that Project 35 is working with those that are the furthest away or most disengaged from mainstream support and we've got Project 35 staff and some of the Argyle Community Trust staff driving hampers around on a weekly basis. Uh, and today, we've probably fed over a thousand local people. Ginsters have been a fantastic charitable partner and a, and a serious contributor to Project 35. Um, when we first met and briefed and kind of um, yeah, drew up plans for Project 35, the one thing that both organisations were really passionate about was supporting that weekend hunger movement. And like I said, not only have Ginsters donated, you know, over 13,000 items of stock to help overcome that particular issue. They've supported with uh, drivers. They've procured um, companies to come and move stock around. You know, we've been supporting people as far down as kind of Penzance, been up in North Devon. We've been into Torbay and South Hams, and of course, across the entire south coast of Plymouth and the south coast of Cornwall. So um, without Ginsters' support, with logistics, uh, with staff and resource and with the stock, we just wouldn't be able to service some of the remote communities that we have. And it's that passion and drive and that contribution from Ginsters that have allowed us through Project 35 to ensure that the people that are often forgotten or underserved have had access to uh, weekend food. We need people. We need the Green Army. We need our fans. We need our partners and supporters, um, both commercial partners and kind of local community partners too. Ultimately, what we are learning through our Project 35 journey is uh, food insecurity, fuel poverty, deprivation and poverty more broadly is complex. It's complex and it's vast. Um, and, you know, in order to have a significant impact on reducing poverty and celebrating opportunities for people to get involved and drive social change, um, we need people. For anybody that signs up and volunteers to Pledge 35, um, they may be asked to kind of help us deliver, drive and move some of the stock around different towns, different communities to make sure we're helping to overcome kind of weekday hunger, weekend hunger. We've, we've got a call to action out to help um, get some literature and books around local schools where there's high levels of um, literacy poverty. Uh, we need people helping to support with picking and packing, you know, moving food hampers and stock around the counties is not easy. So we need people in helping us to prepare stuff. We're also after fans and local people helping us drive up donations too. So um, getting hold of stock, whether that's um, blankets to overcome fuel poverty or coats, hats and scarves, you know, with the winter months coming, whether it's non-perishable food items, pencil cases, school uniform, literature and books, you know, any way that they can contribute and collect and donate into us, that would be appreciated too. And I suppose one of the biggest commitments we want to make through Pledge 35 is to try and signpost local people to local organisations that need support also. Um, you know, we've been working very closely with Fair Share South West, we've been working very closely with Transforming Plymouth Together, Action for Children, the Plymouth Children in Poverty Network, you know, and now the world's reopening in a kind of post-pandemic community. Um, they need support too. You know, we feel that we've got a, a role to play in linking local organisations that need support with local people that have time and a willingness to contribute. The easiest way is to, is to go onto our website, pafc.co.uk forward slash project35. On there, there's a sign up link. We ask for some really basic details and a kind of commitment to what they'd like to get involved in. Someone from our Project 35 team will then get in contact and we'll work with that person and signpost them to a charity or a cause that they're kind of passionate about.